Hi class, my name is Sophie and these are my two website evaluations. So the first site that I visited was the Hong Kong Library Association and you can visit it at hkla.org. Um, I thought the first thing that struck me as interesting is that, um, it, as you can see here, English is actually one of these set languages. I didn't have to translate it through my Chrome. So that was pretty easy and everything um, was an understandable translation. Um, I thought the Hong Kong Library Association's website, as well as what I can see the association is in general, was very similar to ALA. As you can see, um, as I scroll down the page, uh, they have announcements, events, um, but they also have a ton of other things. So if you go here, um, under the About Us, they have things like their objectives, and their objectives are similar to our objectives in ALA. Um, about encouraging basically the development of libraries, policies, encourage professional education, and promote all things about public libraries within Hong Kong. Um, they have a code of ethics that you know talks about the responsibility to the public and to the collection and to the users of all libraries. And other things like their constitution, their history, and um, their council. Something interesting that the website provides over here is jobs, which I think in Illinois, um, the closest thing we have to something like that is using the Rails website to look for library jobs. But as you can see, um, the positions vary, and these ones all, or most of them seem to be in different universities, um, but I'm sure they do public libraries too. So this is an IT manager, this is an assistant librarian, um, but obviously different, this is just a librarian, or knows another assistant librarian. But overall, um, it seems that you could find jobs here, but you do need to be a member to see more details about these jobs and be able to apply to them. Another thing their website offers is um, information about how to become a librarian and like different study programs, as you can see here. Um, I'm under the local aspect, so you can see Masters of Library Science, Master of Information Studies, and the contact information for those, as well as overseas, you could see um, the programs in different countries as well as things listed like the American Library Association, Education and Careers. Um, they also have volunteer opportunities and different awards. So the um, Hong Kong Library Association has a membership similar to ALA. Um, you do have to pay a monthly fee. Um, the benefits include things like being on their email list to receive information, um, discounted admission to activities, which I will talk about shortly, um, discount at their bookstores, as well as being able to um, see the job postings as we talked about before, because uh, that information is hidden, as well as being able to post about uh, jobs if you are an employer. So if you go under welcome, under announcements and events, they do have different events um, that uh, members can go to and that you can either pay or go for free about different lectures and continuing education in the library field. Um, this seems pretty similar to ALA as well. This one's the Library Development of China, uh, China in the Mainland. Um, it is obviously translated in Chinese and in English and then you could register online. So the second website I visited was the Lithuanian Librarians Association. Um, their main website um, well, first, I, it was translated through uh, Google Translate, so there were some things that were a little bit harder to um, get a perfect translation of. But overall, um, the main this is the main page. As you can see, it's sort of set up um, like a blog, and you know, there's different blog posts. Um, through my searching, none of these um, are like paid events like you would see on ALA or in the Hong Kong one. These are just different. Um, news things that are happening in the library world or different, um, you know, like Lithuania reads and just different information for the public and for librarians. So it seems like if you go under news, their main three events that they talk about is National Library Week, which um, is pretty self-explanatory. It's similar to our National Library Week celebrating libraries. Um, Book Christmas in Lithuania is sort of a country cultural thing that celebrates giving books during Christmas time and it encourages people to read more and 
lots of people come to the libraries more during Christmas time. Um, so Lithuania, oh, this is not being translated. Oh, it is translated. Okay. Um, so it's something that has been going on for around eight years and people donate books to libraries around Christmas time, but people also come to the library more to get books, either to purchase used or to check out. So, um, as a cultural phenomenon, book Christmas has really increased uh, library awareness. Um, the third event is the Vilnius Book Fair. Um, through my research, this book fair seems to be similar to Book Expo America um, here in the U.S. It's not just for librarians, but um, it's just a general book fair about like what's new and upcoming um, in the publishing industry and with books. But there is um, certain panels that have to do with librarians, and librarians are welcome to come. Um, there are two main groups that the Lithuanian Librarians Association work with. They have their seniors group, which I thought was really interesting because I had never seen anything like this. Um, their senior group is basically um, helping senior librarians and senior members of the Lithuanian Librarians Association um, by congratulating them on anniversaries, um, kind of giving them just the recognition they feel they deserve, um, as well as letting them know what's new in the library world if they don't have the access to understand the changes that are happening. Um, I don't think there's anything like this in the U.S., and I didn't see anything like that in the Hong Kong one, so I thought this group was really interesting. On the flip side, they have the Young Professionals Association, which is pretty much the opposite. Um, this is a group established for young and upcoming librarians to um, keep in touch with each other, basically a networking group, exchange thoughts and ideas, um, and create different projects to increase, um, you know, professional development and those types of things. Um, in my research, I don't know how young you have to be to be considered um, a young professional, um, but that, that is something that I thought was fascinating, that they have something for the new and upcoming librarians, as well as still respecting the older, you know, the old guard. Um, overall, um, the Lithuanian Librarian Association website um, seemed interesting, but did not seem as in-depth as some of the other sites that I saw. Um, you know, there is no membership, like with the Hong Kong or with ALA. Um, I didn't see any type of educational events in the way that other organizations have in order to increase um, professional development. It did have a page with their library objectives and code of ethics, which I think is pretty standard um, for most of these websites. Um, but I did really like that they had the seniors group and the young professionals group.